A draft day sabotage cost this NFL prospect $7 million. I'm Frank Michael Smith, and this is the Frank Michael Smith Show presented by Underdog Fantasy. Draft season is always a wild time of the year. Doesn't matter the sport, we all just seem to get a little crazy. For example, Mel Kuyper once promised to retire if Jimmy Clausen didn't pan out in the NFL. Now, of course, he didn't, but it's not because Carolina didn't do their homework. What fans often fail to realize is the ridiculous level professional organizations obsess over prospects. I say obsess instead of study because it gets kind of weird. They quite literally learn everything there is to know about them. I'm talking what cologne they wear, what their mom does for a living, and how tall their older brothers are. Scouting units are paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to overanalyze these minuscule details. Now, it seems crazy, and we can all agree that to some level it is, but these features can astronomically alter a player's draft stock. It might not seem like a big deal, but for athletes, the slightest change in draft stock means making or losing millions of dollars. For example, when Kyler Murray was measured a half inch taller than what teams expected, it locked him in the first overall pick. He's 5'10 and a half, by the way. When the Sun saw Kawhi sweat through his shirt during a draft interview, they passed on him because they felt he would crack under pressure. Now, in every draft, there's a player that gets drafted way higher than expected, but there's also a player who unexpectedly plummets. And nobody had a more tragic or surprising slide than Laramie Tunsil. Laramie made a name for himself in high school. At a monstrous 6'6", 300, he was born to play O-line. He became one of the best in his class and rocketed to the number five overall recruit in the nation. Laramie was nearly a lock to commit to Georgia, but after a January visit to Oxford, Mississippi, he signed with Ole Miss. He solidified himself as a team's starting left tackle from day one, as he was one of just two freshmen in all of college football to start full-time at the position. Laramie did just about everything right in his first two years. He was routinely shutting down the best D lineman in the SEC, but in the summer of 2015, before Laramie's junior year, a scandal unfolded. Laramie and his stepfather, Lindsey Miller, got into a massive argument. Lindsey was so frustrated that he decided to blow the whistle on his own stepson for receiving improper benefits from sports agents. The NCAA opened an investigation and suspended Laramie for the first seven weeks of the season. In his first game back, Laramie lined up opposite Miles Garrett and completely neutralized him. There was little doubt in the minds of scouts, coaches, and fans that Laramie Tunsil was the best offensive lineman in all of college football. Following his junior season, Laramie had nothing left to prove and declared for the draft. In every mock throughout the entire season, he was a no-brainer top five pick, with a couple sites even projecting him as the number one overall pick. Analyst Lance Zierlein said, Laramie Tunsil is going to be the best left tackle in the league or one of the top two within three years. Everything was pointing up until 10 minutes before the draft. A video was uploaded to Twitter from Laramie's account, which showed Laramie burning some kush out of a gas mask. On what was supposed to be the happiest day of his life, Laramie's video became a lightning rod for negative press. Several teams took Laramie off the draft board completely. When the draft got underway, the Rams and Eagles took QBs with their first two picks. This didn't surprise anyone. Laramie had his sights set on the Ravens, who were picking six. But they didn't just pass on him, they took Ronnie Stanley, who plays the same position. The Titans did the exact same thing with the eighth pick, opting for Jack Conklin, and Laramie fell all the way to Miami at 13. He was heartbroken. Just an hour earlier, he had every reason to believe his name would be called in the top six. Now, like I said in the intro, there's millions of dollars at stake with every pick. The NFL dictates how much rookies are paid based off where they're drafted. Using this as a reference, Laramie's draft day slide cost him $7 million. Even worse, while the draft was still going on, Laramie's IG was hacked and a photo was posted that revealed texts he sent to Ole Miss officials requesting rent money for he and his mother. In his very first press conference after draft day, Laramie admitted to taking money from his college coaches. While the hackers remained a mystery, there was one prime suspect. Just days before the draft, Lindsey filed a lawsuit against Laramie for allegedly attacking him during an altercation. In the time since the draft, Laramie hasn't let the tragedy impact his performance. He made back-to-back -back Pro Bowls in 19 and 20 and signed a three-year $66 million contract making him the highest paid O lineman in NFL history. I'm Frank Michael Smith. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to our fellow channel sponsor, The Game Day. Check out their channel for amazing original content.